Maybe they thought, well, you know, it was kind of a, it was kind of a long shot anyway. Yeah. A little nostalgia trying to creep up every now and then, but uh, weather-wise, we're gonna have kind of the nostalgia that it may should bring us severe weather, and sure enough, that is going to be the case looking at tomorrow afternoon and evening, especially tomorrow evening. Now, here's where we expect the highest threat for severe weather. It's going to be west of Tulsa from Ponca City down towards the Oklahoma City area, uh, where there's an enhanced risk, a slight risk from Independence, Kansas into the metro down into Bristow. Now, as far as tornado potential, there is that risk from Independence, Kansas, Tulsa, Bristow down towards Seminole. Let's call it a low to moderate risk. And then the higher risk, the highest risk from Ponca City, Stillwater, Oklahoma City, and Fairview for tomorrow evening. And I'm going to walk you through that with future track radar. We're watching a dry line out to the west of us that will move east. So this is tomorrow afternoon, about 5 o'clock. I think this computer model is a little optimistic on storm coverage, meaning it's popping up a lot of storms. These might just be one or two or three cells that could pop up. And if they do, they would travel to the northeast. Again, this model is saying, hey, there is a potential that it could even make it into the metro region by 10 o'clock on Thursday. Now, here's the deal. As it moves further east, the environment's not going to be as favorable for severe weather development. So big time severe weather out west. How long can they hold on as they move east? That's going to be the ultimate question. Either way, we're going to watch it. We're going to be tracking it for you hour by hour uh, tomorrow evening. I'm excited, though. Tomorrow I'll be in Tahlequah and in Stillwell uh, in the morning, early afternoon hours, and then coming back here covering severe weather. So Tahlequah, Stillwell, I'm coming to your town. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've been able to be in Stillwell. Uh, looking forward to being, of course, being Tahlequah as well. Looking at the next 10 days, so looking at about one inch of rainfall over the next 10. Heavier amounts look to appear mainly south of us along Interstate 40 and areas to the south. The uh, temp trend is going to turn cooler, mid to upper 70s for highs for early next week. This weekend, some scattered showers and storms could be a little wet. Right now, Wade's RV weather camera network, mid 80s in the metro. Today's high, 85. Tomorrow's high in the lower 80s with scattered storms in the evening. Maybe an isolated shower storm on Friday. Better chance for more widespread rain and thunderstorm activity will be this weekend. And then we cool and dry by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. This year, consumers are expected to break records with Mother's Day spending, whether it's inflation impacting costs of gifts.